You might remember Ben Law as the man who built his house in the woods on the TV series Grand Designs. But Ben's a lot more than just a naturally gifted eco-architect. Zero carbon building is just one of the many skills he's acquired over 20 years working at his home in Prickly Nut Wood. Prickly Nut Wood is a coppice woodland, sweet chestnut coppice, and this forms the basis of my livelihood and my work as a woodsman. A year ago, I spent a day filming here for Japanese public television. I was impressed not just by Ben's amazing range of woodland skills, but also by the way that sustainability ran through everything that he did. It's rare to find someone whose commitment to conservation is so embedded into their daily life and work, and who can make it seem not just important, but practical and desirable. Ben's not a curator of obsolete crafts, but a pioneer, happy to share his hard-won knowledge. I've got quite a few architects now, I've done day courses for them when they come, and we actually look at resource first. So you yeah. actually start to look at, okay, what have we got? We've got two acres of chestnut coppice, we've got a pile of stone there, some clay, we've got um, a couple of oak trees that need thinning. Right, now you design your building. Until now, Ben's turned down approaches to make a documentary on his remarkable life. His experience working with litmus films has changed his mind. There weren't the, the constant um, redoing things seven times over, trying to make you say things again and again till possibly the producer gets the words that they want rather than the words that you're actually saying and meaning at the time. Um, so I found it a relaxed and easygoing experience. And then when I looked at some of the other things Robert had done, they interested me. And I felt um, there to be in Robert and, and Litmus you know, a genuine documentary maker as opposed to reality television and that's why I felt comfortable to go with that. Dropping in on Prickly Nut Wood for snapshots of what Ben does is interesting enough, but to really understand Ben's life and work you need to follow his life through the changing seasons and that's why I want to make this documentary on Ben Law's Woodland Year. Starting with Ben selecting the two apprentices he takes on every year. No, we'll have a couple of hundred logs. Any water underneath those. We'll see how they cope with life in the woods. The tap's frozen. <laughs> we'll learn with them as Ben passes on his craft. Almost reduce the strength of the peg. We'll follow the natural history of a Sussex woodland. It's a, it's a fungus. Really, really good for starting fires, although you wouldn't think so today when it's this wet. We'll watch Ben's design for a school classroom go from concept to completion. Now I think there's a tree just along the track here that's come down the chestnut tree and invert that in the ground so you've got these other roots upwards. Yeah. And we'll experience the daily life and challenges of the 21st century woods. <laughs> you've got smell of vision. Right. One, two, three. Oh no! <laughs> 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 <laughs>